All right, so Badge by Cream. This is from the Goodbye album, released in 1969. And this song was co-written with George Harrison, and he plays on the track, too. Although it's not clear what part he plays. I think a lot of people think he played that part because it's so George, right? So, like, uh, here comes the sun, that descending thing that he likes to do. But it's unclear. A lot of people think Eric Clapton actually played that part. In my demo, I faked the keyboard part because there's a piano in there. It's Felix Papillardi playing that piano part. Um, he produced a lot of the Cream albums. But I just faked it on guitar, so I'll just show you that part first. So, the song is in, the first chord's A minor, and then it goes to D, and then it goes to E minor. So, the song is actually in the key of G. Um, the entire song's in the key of G, even though it never really resolves to a G. It's, you know, diatonically all the chords are in the key of G. Okay, so, but what we do on the uh, keyboard part is I'm going to play the A minor up here, that D minor shape, but up here, with your third finger on the 10th fret. And I'm going to go, right, hammering on that note. And then up to this D shape, right? And then, we're kind of here be like a, an E minor with that added second or ninth and I'm just gonna play those two strings right B10 or B12 and uh, E14 and just slide up one fret on the E string repeat Now the song is going to go to the key, uh, C chord. I'm going to play that here. Just the G and the E string. Okay, really cool chord changes there. So it's like a C to an A minor, but the piano is kind of going A minor, E, A minor, E. Right? So we've got kind of bouncing everything off that G on the D string there. That's G4 and B3. And then we've got, that's like an A minor, right? So G2 and B1. And we're gonna go, which, you know, I never, I've listened to this song like for years and I've never really heard that part until I started to learn it. So it's like going A minor, E, A minor, E, right? But we're just doing those two notes. And then we're going to go fours on a B minor chord to an A minor chord. All right. And then it just repeats. And then we get into the big, the big Leslie guitar part, which I'll go over in a minute. But coming out of that, when the singing comes back in, the keyboard part, continuing that, is going to go. So that's what happens over that middle part and the solo and everything. So it's just arpeggio of a D chord. D string, G string, B string. Same thing on the C chord, two frets down. Then, that's going like from a G, 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 D, right? So, all right, and that's all there is to the keyboard part. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna change over my sound here and we'll go on to the rhythm part, the rhythm guitar part. All right, so the rhythm guitar is basically, to start the song, it's just doing this, right? Just slashing on muted strings. And, well, the bass is doing that, right? We're just doing this, but if you really listen closely, you can hear another guitar going up like this. Okay, just a really subtle little part for the intro. Um, you know, if you're in a one guitar band, you're not going to do that. You're going to do this, right? But just out of interest's sake, you know, to how they, what they recorded, that part goes like this, just open A, and then it's kind of like an A minor seven chord, right? But we're only playing the D string and the open G. So it's open A, right? That's um, D2, to a D chord, then, and then to an A chord, just a power chord, right? We're not playing that one. All right, just kind of a really cool little part that I've never heard before. But you know, when you go to learn these songs, like really learn them, you hear all this stuff you've never heard before. Okay, so then we're, we're slashing, and the chords are A minor, D, E minor. And the piano is doing that, so later on when we start playing chords, that's what we're thinking, but for now we're just slashing, right? And repeat. Very subtle, just kind of playing that. Then we go to a C chord. E minor. And then this A minor 9 chord. And you could fret it like that, like an A minor, right? It's a little finger here on, uh, what is that, E9, E7. I just do it like that. And you can either play that G note on the D string or mute it, because the most prominent notes are those three, right? So from the C, you know, you don't even have to play that A string either, because the bass is covering that, right? And then of course it repeats. And while we're doing that, you know, that's just a vamp, right? We're just feeling our way through there. There's nothing super specific. And then we're gonna go to the C chord, but he's gonna put in this really cool lick here, and it goes like this. Okay, which is really cool. That's really good guitar playing, really, cl really clapped and classic clapped. In. So we're gonna start on the C, and we're doing that that slide up, right? And that is so like 70s, like um, Hendrix did a lot of that, you know? And uh, the Beatles, everybody liked that. You know, that little little shape there. Um, like the Beatles, um, I'm not sure if this is the key, but... You know, that. Uh, there's so many songs that use that little trick. Anyway, so that's where he starts. And then he's going to go. That's on the C. To the 
A minor, so we're playing within the chord shapes, right? All notes in the chord. Now we're gonna, over the B minor, we're gonna just go. So it's an arpeggio, right? Root three, five. Then this you know, classic A minor nine, right? So. Up to speed. And that's kind of the last little bit before we get into the, um, you know, that bridge section. Okay, so uh, the bridge section is going to go like this. And of course, that's with you know the Leslie speaker and everything, which just sounds fantastic. It's probably one of my most favorite moments in a song ever, is when that guitar comes in. It's just it's so great, you know. I don't know what it is about that, but um, it's just awesome. So it's over a D chord, right? So we're just going again. We're going right. That's what we're doing, but we're just doing it down here. Then to a C. G over B, G, but it's arpeggiated, so. But the focus is still on those root notes. And we want to fill in between, right? So it's just an arpeggio. Open D, open G, open B. And then A string, D string, B string. Off that B string okay and the first time you don't really hear that D string in there it's there if you really listen it's just hitting it very subtly what you could do is just go just skip it skip the D string on the first one just the first one And that's your last, your last phrase. So real slow. Okay, and that's that part. Um, and I guess the only other thing is the solo now, but the solo I'm gonna do in a separate video, just because it's really, in my opinion, it's one of the greatest solos ever recorded. Absolutely love that solo. Um, you know, Clapton is just, he just makes the guitar sing. He's kind of going in between major and minor, pentatonic, and it, it's just like the guitar is talking. You know, it's just fantastic guitar playing. Really, really good. So we'll get that in the next lesson, which I'll have up uh, probably next week sometime. Anyways, I hope you get something out of this lesson. Um, really, really cool song. Always been one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Cream songs. And just really, really well written, well played, well produced. Great song. Anyways, like I said, I hope you get something out of this, and we'll talk to you next time.